plan grid submittals workflow works all the way through the submitter, the manager, any number of reviewers, and then the manager again to publish the submittal. Today, our submitter will be the mechanical contractor assistant project manager. The manager will be the general contractor's project engineer. The reviewers will be the MEP engineer and the architect. And then finally, the manager, the project engineer. The general contractor's project engineer will first create a submittal item. The project engineer selects new item and a dialog box appears on the right side. Here, the project engineer can type in the name of the submittal, the spec section, who will submit the submittal, a due date for that submission, and then any relevant parties who need to watch this submittal. Hey, let's get this submittal going. I know you're still going through buyout, but I'd like to go ahead and get all the long lead items out of the way as quickly as possible. I agree with you. We're meeting with the vendor that we will most likely go with tomorrow and hopefully have something to you by the middle of next week. Sounds good. I'll hold you to it. We have to set this equipment with the tower crane, so if we miss our pick date, it'll be harmful to the schedule. Okay, so we're going to go with the Frosty Cool AHUs per the spec and not take the VE. We need your best and final price right away and we'll hopefully get you signed up since we've had several successful projects with you in the past. That sounds great. I'll do a final review of the spec and drawings to make sure everything I'm pricing is correct. I'll get that over to you by the end of the week. The assistant project manager is reviewing the air handling unit product data. The product data looks good to me. I'll go ahead and send this out so we can get this process going. This is a long lead item, so I really appreciate you getting this out. When the submittal manager assigns a submittal, the assignee will receive an automatic email. The assignee does not have to have a PlanGird account to attach a submittal item. Here, the assignee is able to attach the submittal item, change the package name, verify the spec section, as well as add any notes. Once all of this has been verified and completed, the assignee can submit the package. When the submitter submits their attachment, the RFI manager will receive an automatic email prompting them to review that attachment and then send on for review. This looks good. I'll go ahead and send this over to the mechanical engineer and we'll go ahead and copy the architectural firm just to keep them in the loop. The manager can assign any number of reviewers, a due date for the submittal, and multiple people to watch the submittal. Once the submittal has been sent on for a review, the reviewer will receive an automatic email and be able to review the submittal without going into plan grid. I have no exceptions. This can get sent back to the engineer. The reviewer can choose from a variety of different responses, upload a new PDF with their markups on the submittal, as well as add any additional notes. The second reviewer also receives an email. Again, the reviewers do not have to have a plan grid license to be able to review these submittals. All items in this submittal are per spec in the mechanical schedule. This is an easy approval for me. The second reviewer can decide whether or not their response is the official response and mark it as approved or any other options. They are also able to add notes and any additional marked up PDFs that they would like to add. If they have another reviewer that they would like to include, they can select Next Reviewer and add an email address. Once the submittal has been reviewed by all parties, the submittal manager will receive an automatic email. Okay, this is approved as is, and we're going to go ahead with these air handling units. I'll close this out and distribute to all the relevant parties. Once the submittal manager publishes the submittal, they're able to select which folder and documents the submittal will land. They're able to edit their distribution list and add any relevant notes. In Plan Grid Submittal module, you are able to see a dashboard that shows you how many submittals have been completed, how many are upcoming, and how many are past due. If you click on the Items tab, you can see all of the submittals that are within the project. 
when you click on one of the submittals, you're able to see all of the information that has to do with that submittal, including any attachments, as well as a history of the submittal from start to finish. Hey, just wanted to give you a call on this air handling unit submittal and let you know that I want you to go ahead and release the one for the basement. The structure isn't going to weigh down anybody, and I don't want you to get covered up before you can set with the crane. I'm on it. We'll release it today and it'll be on site in 10 weeks.